Hello everyone, I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Here's your political news roundup for Tuesday, September 6th. When President Obama stands before Congress for his economic address on Thursday, he'll do so from the lowest popularity point of his presidency. A new NBC News Wall Street Journal poll shows just 44% of American voters approve Obama's job performance. Less than 40% approve his handling of the economy. And 54% think he's facing a long-term problem from which he is not likely to recover. That's the same figure as George W. Bush at the same point of his presidency. What had been high marks for Obama's performance as commander-in-chief have also dipped to 41%. As bad as the grades are for Obama, those for Congress are even worse. The level of dissatisfaction with Congress was 82%, the lowest point in the history of the poll. Well, as its red ink continues to pile up, the U.S. Postal Service wants permission to take more drastic steps to cut costs. Postmaster General Patrick Donahoe told the Senate the service could lose up to $10 billion for this fiscal year and could be unable to pay workers' salaries and other expenses within a year. He wants options to eliminate up to 120,000 workers, pay less for retirement, and end Saturday delivery. Republican presidential candidate Michelle Bachman is in the hunt for a new campaign manager. Ed Rollins resigned that role over the weekend, pointing to his health as the reason. Rollins is recovering from a stroke. He said his plan all along was to put together a campaign team and get through the Iowa straw poll before stepping down. Bachman won that poll. In a CNN interview, however, Rollins says he sees Bachman running third behind Mitt Romney and Rick Perry. Overseas, two U.S. allies in the Middle East, Israel and Turkey, are not getting along well. Today, Turkish President Tayyip Erdogan ratcheted up the tensions by announcing his country would cut all military relations with Israel. He also said more sanctions would be announced soon. Erdogan is angry about Israel's failure to apologize and pay compensation for the killing of eight Turkish nationals in a botched raid against a convoy last year. That's your political roundup for Tuesday, September 6th. I'm Leon thomas Lewick. Stay logged on to rttnews.com for more on these and other political and financial news stories throughout the day.